smog blankets large swathes of the country. Authorities are racing against time to put out the forest fires in southern Sumatra. Well, this year's dry season is arguably the most severe since 2019. Livestock left isolated and crops washed away. Large sections of farmland near the Gippsland town of Mafra look more like a lake. A close call for this man who was outside when Typhoon Koinu made a landfall. Dozens of motoring accidents were reported, including trucks toppled on the roadside and others crashing into trees. Officials say more than 300 people were injured around the island. One person was killed by flying glass. Across town's flimsy roofs were torn off while signboards crashed onto the street. Damage aside, Koinu will be remembered for a wind speed that broke records. At its top speed of 343 kilometers per hour, it broke an anemometer at a weather station. Residents were shocked at how strong Koinu was, even for a typhoon. Great white shark was spotted lurking about and it got pretty close. Fishermen identified it as a great white right away and a fish biologist at Dalhousie University concurs. Several of these kinds of sharks have been increasingly spotted in our waters of late. This one cruised around for a bit long enough for onlookers to get some pretty good close-ups. is once again erupting at its summit within Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. The USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory says new lava began erupting in the summit crater, as well as on the downdrop block to the east of the summit caldera. Scientists say the eruption was preceded by a period of strong seismicity and rapid uplift of the summit.
three people are dead after a powerful cyclone made landfall in southeastern Bangladesh. Cyclone Hamoon brought with it heavy winds and rains that battered hundreds of homes. Thousands of trees as well were uprooted and power outages have been reported. It's snowing good here in north central Montana. At least 27 people are dead after Hurricane Otis slammed Mexico's Pacific coast, devastating the beach resort town of Acapulco. The Category 5 storm took forecasters off guard, turning from mild to monster in record time. Vanuatu's northern provinces were hit hard by the Category 4 storm, which brought wind gusts of more than 160 kilometres per hour. Ranwadi School on Pentecost Island losing numerous roofs. Lola is the third cyclone to hit Vanuatu this year. Category 4 cyclones Judy and Kevin struck within days of each other in February and March.
emergency in the south of Queensland has now become a cross-border disaster. The New South Wales township of Jennings and its Queensland neighbour, Wollongarra, both coming under serious threat. Wollongarra residents were ordered to evacuate with authorities warning them their lives were in danger.